probably do too. To I had exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're, you're never going to make anything of yourself. Yeah. Sort of. Actually, I, I feel like those bad experiences at the time, which are ho- horrible experiences that stick yeah. with you, can also be the things that drive you, right? Yeah. And I think the other thing you're mentioning there that I want my audience to kind of grasp is this concept of frankly scaling a business but keeping the core culture and essence alive because there is a feeling that a lot of businesses as they scale lose their essence right Mm. but i think perhaps and i'm I'm, this is more a question is it because often people expand for expand's sake as opposed to expand because the customers want it so i i I feel and i'm not just saying this because i'm sitting with you here today and i'm a big fan of of tri yoga but i honestly think there's an energy in all the tri yoga spaces that is hard to replicate but you have replicated it and i think it's around the, the purpose of the business, right? The, the genuine desire of the founder to create an experience for people when they walk in the door. But for, for a lot of people, it's like, how can we build a business to just get more people through the door? Yeah, that's a big issue because money is involved. You, have, you, know, you, you want your business to be financially successful, your word success, right? So you, you, know, you want your business to be successful and there are points on the road where you have to decide what is your, what's driving you. And I think they can work hand in hand. Like at the beginning, you know, for me, yoga and money was a big issue. Right? Can you run a business that is delivering this amazing practice okay? and be in integrity? And uh, that's qu- I found that quite hard to sell off with, to sort of think, you know, is it okay? It wasn't profitable, so it was okay, but is it okay to be profitable? And I think that's a... That's a a perpetual dilemma 